Hello and welcome back. I am Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports in Westfield, Indiana, and you are watching Marksman TV. Today I have another tabletop review and comparison for you. We will be taking a look at the new Ruger LC carbine chambered in 5.7x28 and the very popular Ruger PC carbine, this one chambered in 9mm. Now, in these videos, we do a point by point comparison of the two firearms to give you an idea of which one might better serve your needs if you're looking for the new camping or backpacking or just weekend plinker type rifle. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stick around. That's coming up now. Okay, so jumping into this, one question I know I am going to receive often is why compare a 5.7 with a 9mm carbine? Now, if we move the calibers out of the equation for just one moment, it is very clear to me that both of these are intended to fill a similar role. They are lightweight, easy to use, they're very handy, they make very good camping or backpacking or survivalist type carbines. Furthermore, you can put one in your vehicle in case you end up in a dark, desolate area somewhere and you need to use one for self-defense, so they are very good for that role. Beyond that, you can look at the characteristics of each, take other things into account like what other firearms you own and in which calibers, and you can make the decision of which one would serve that role better for your collection or for your needs. Moving out of that, let's go ahead and jump into specs. First, here with the LC carbine, and it has an overall extended length of 30.6 inches and a collapsed length of 28.7 inches. Down here on the PC carbine, it has an overall length of 34.37 inches. Now, this is a fixed stock variant, and I will talk about the different variants available on the market here in just one moment. The height of the LC carbine is 7 inches from the bottom of the magazine to the base here of the rear sight. Here on the PC carbine, from the bottom of the mag to the top of the rear sight here, we are at six inches, so an inch shorter. Keep in mind though, this is a standard 15 round capacity Glock magazine. This is a 20 round capacity magazine, so as your mags get longer and shorter, so too will the overall height, that goes without saying. If we take a look at the barrel of each, the PC carbine has a barrel length of 16.12 inches, and the LC carbine barrel length of 16.25 inches. Now the different variants of these available on the market, this is the basic version with a collapsing stock and 120 round magazine. They do make a band compliant version with a pinned and fixed stock that does not collapse and uh, comes with, or you can get one with a 10 round magazine as well. Now the PC carbine, which has been out for several years, comes in many different configurations. As mentioned, this is the fixed stock. It does come with spacers out of the box to change the length of pull. They do have a version as well with a collapsing stock with an AR-15 uh, type stock with buffer tube. And then the earlier versions just had a polymer handguard here. The second gens have this M-lock rail section here. And then the third gens were the ones that added the collapsing stock. So many different options available to you. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the weight. Okay, taking a look at the LC carbine unloaded, we are at five pounds, 14.7 ounces, and the PC carbine, seven pounds, 3.5 ounces, so quite a bit heavier on the PC carbine. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the barrels of each, starting here with the LC carbine. As mentioned, it is a 16.25 inch fluted nitrided steel barrel. And it does have threads here at the end at one half by 28 with a thread protector. Very nice spiral fluting as mentioned right in here. You guys probably can't see that too well. And then on the outside is a secondary piece of rail section which does have M-lock if you wanna put a vertical grip, lights or lasers or anything like that. Now up at the top, you're gonna to notice at the 12 o'clock position of the rail section, there is a uh, rail uh, 1913 rail that does run the entire length of the top of the receiver and I'll show you that as we move back as well and here you have the Ruger rapid deploy iron sights of course you can co-witness with any of your favorite type of optics which is really nice that that's set up and ready to go now if we move down here to the PC carbine again this is a second generation with the M-lock shroud that goes around the entire length of the barrel the first gen did not have this it was just a polymer handguard here at the front now if we look at the barrel first, as mentioned, it is 16.12 inches. It is threaded and does have a thread protector. It is also one half by 28. Now this is a one in 10 right hand twist. This is a one in nine right hand twist. And this is a cold hammer forged chrome molly steel barrel. Now, again, if we get back into the handguard, this is 7075T6 aircraft grade aluminum, which is type three hard coat anodized, same as what you have down here. The sights are not removable or adjustable uh, here on the front as we saw on the um, 
uh, on the LC carbine. So they are just fixed in location here. All of your adjustments are going to be on the rear sight. Okay, here I'm bringing in the LC carbine for a little bit of a closer look. As mentioned, there is the rail section that travels the entire length of the top of the receiver. Now this also, like the handguard, is 7075 T6 aircraft grade aluminum, which is type three hard code anodized, but the bottom assembly here is actually polymer and modeled very much off of the Ruger 57 pistol, which I have here. You can see the grip contours are identical. It's almost as if you're taking the handgun and laying it right into the carbine, although they haven't. They sort of took the grip module and contoured it to, to sort of work with the carbine configuration you have here. Controls are in the same place, so you do have an ambidextrous 1911-style safety lever here which is also ambidextrous on the pistol and located in the same area. The bolt release is very similar and located in the same position here, although not ambidextrous. You can take out the bolt handle and reverse it over to the other side for an ambidextrous use. You can also reverse the magazine release, which is instead of a button, it is a lever, which I actually like. I really like lever type mag releases. Now, if we look inside the trigger here, it does have a trigger safety here, and as mentioned, a 1911 style safety here. There's also an inter uh, internal uh, hammer safety as well. So this is very well built in terms of its safety. So as long as you were deliberate with the firearm keeping and, and the uh, within lines of the firearm safety rules, then you should be good to go with this product. Very nice, easy to use, very uh, straightforward and intuitive. Now up at the top is your other rapid deploy Ruger sight. Same thing you're gonna get on things like a Ruger AR 556. Again, you can co-witness with any of your favorite optics. You have all of that space up at the top of the receiver to uh, place whatever optic you would like to. Okay, so bringing in the PC carbine for comparison. This is a glass-filled nylon synthetic stock. Now this is 7075 T6 aircraft grade aluminum, which has been CNC machined down to form the receiver. And you have a rail section up here if you'd like to place an optic. Now keep in mind your sights are here. This is your rear sight, which is adjustable for windage and elevation by drifting through a dovetail here, left or right for windage or up and down this ramp for elevation. Now one interesting feature about this that was not found on the see if I can lock that in, was not found on the LC carbine is this is a takedown model. So very easy to store if you wanna use it again in that sort of survivalist backpacker type role. Now there is a side folding feature on the LC carbine, which I will show you when we get to the back end of the carbines as well. Very easy to put back together. You just slide that back in, give it a twist and it is locked in place. You can then drop your bolt back into position. Other features here, you have a push button safety, which is of course accessible from either the left or the right hand. Your fire control group is very similar to that of a 1022. So if you're familiar with the 1022, you will feel right at home there. Now, one of the most impressive features about this is the magazine uh, well adapter assemblies. So this will come new in the box with a magazine well adapter for both the Ruger SR series and also the Glock series of magazines. This is sold in nine and 40, so you can do it in either caliber. During the disassembly process, you can actually just push out this magazine well. It's a very simple thing to do. You can put in the Glock magazine well, say if you wanted to do that, and then you could use any of your Glock 9mm magazines as long as they're the full double stack. Very nice feature set there as well. You do have a bolt hold open, which I guess you could say is ambidextrous as well. Now this is a weighted bolt, which is meant to help uh, reduce the recoil and the rifle. So they are very, very gen gentle shooters, and especially we noticed a couple more pounds of weight there compared to the LC carbine and with a 9 millimeter these are really fun out on the range all right so back with the lc carbine again remember this is not a band compliant version so this does have a collapsing stock furthermore you can actually close this over here to the left hand side of the carbine making it very easy to carry and store now if you don't like it on the left hand side of the carbine you can actually reverse this locking mechanism and have it fold over to the opposite side so whether you are a left or right handed shooter or whatever your preferences are you can change this to fit those needs this also does have a section of rail in the back so you can take this off altogether and put on a different stock that you might like or something like that. I don't know if they will later come out with pistol versions of these with braces. I'm sure they will, uh, making them even smaller. So there's that option. So uh, very, very cool. Again, very modular and very small and compact. If we 
close that down, it makes for a really handy little package. Now the stock is mentioned on the PC carbine does come with these spacers. You can get the version with the collapsing stock, the six position collapsing stock. So you can change that to your needs there as well. But other than that, it is just a basic, again, this is the um, glass filled nylon uh, synthetic stock here. So nothing special really to say about that. A uh, sling swivel point down here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at their trigger pull weights, starting with the PC carbine. 5 pounds, 10 ounces. I'll show you there. And the LC carbine. 4 pounds, 9.2 ounces. So quite a bit lighter here on the LC carbine. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the trigger pull weight starting here with the PC carbine. First, it is polymer in construction. When you start to push on it, you are immediately met with resistance. Just a tiny bit of take up there. Go ahead and pull through. Right into a clean break. It's a really smooth break. Wasn't actually quite ready for that. Go ahead and let go. Reset a little bit of travel there, but not bad. Again, I'm going to pull a little bit slower. Really nice, smooth, clean break. And reset. Very nice. So a little bit of travel on the reset, but immediate wall there into a really smooth, clean break. I do like that trigger. Okay, here we have the LC carbine. Again, polymer construction with a trigger safety there. So a little bit more initial travel there until you hit a wall. Travel and a little creep, a little bit more creep, right into a break. Let's check that reset. Travel, travel, travel. There's the reset. A little bit of movement into a break. So a little bit spongier feeling. The LC carbine, I'm sorry, the PC carbine felt a little bit more smooth and crisp, but a little heavier. This just has more travel into the reset there and more travel into the break. So actually between the two, I prefer the PC carbine trigger. Okay, so let's jump into disassembly, starting here with the Ruger PC carbine. Now, first thing we're gonna do is check that we are clear. There's no magazine in the firearm. And I'm gonna go ahead and lock the bolt open. Now, I showed you this operation before. We're gonna pivot and pull the barrel off of the receiver and set it aside. Now, from there, we can very gently release the bolt. We're gonna have to remove the bolt handle now, one of these hex screws, the appropriate size hex screw, does come with the firearm in the box. Um, I just use my own just because I get a little bit more leverage on it. There we go. That pops right out. Now, you're going to go to the bottom of the receiver. I've already pre-loosened loosened these, so we won't be sitting here forever. But you go ahead and drive out these action screws on the bottom of the receiver. And then the receiver should drop right out. Now you can go a couple steps further by driving out these two pins and dropping off your fire control group. And then the bolt will slide right out the bottom. Very, very simple. Uh, what you're gonna also do from here, I'll go ahead and show you while we are here, is you can pop out this magazine release. Yeah, pull out the magazine well adapter, which is what this is. It comes with the Ruger series and the Glock series in the box. Just as easy as pushing the mag release and popping it out. You can just as easily push a magazine adapter back in and boom, back in place. It's going to be a little wobbly without the action in there behind it, uh, but that's how you go about switching out your uh, magazine wells. Very, very simple. Uh, but that is pretty much field stripped. There's all your components. All right, so let's take a look at the disassembly on the LC carbine. Now, you do not need any tools to disassemble this other than if you would like to take off the handguard, in which case a couple hex wrenches are included with the firearm in the box. Now, you do need to drive out this cross pin, so I do have a little punch. You could probably use a round of 5.7 ammunition to drive this out. It does not require that much force, but I'm going to go ahead and use a punch just to be gentle on the firearm. I'm going to start by removing the magazine and check that we are clear. Kind of weird, and we are. So... From there, I'm going to go ahead and drive this out. It does not require that much force. And take out this cross pin. Go ahead and set it up on end. Put a little bit of back pressure on the grip frame and then up and off. Now again, we can look at and see the characteristics that this definitely follows from the 5.7 pistol, the 50, Ruger 57. But we can set that aside. There's nothing else that you need to do with this. Okay, now from here, I'm going to remove the bolt. It is a two-piece bolt, and you start by driving back the charging handle. It's kind of awkward to do this, but you have to sort of hold it in place just over the end of the barrel, reach in here, 
and drive it upwards and out. So an interesting thing about this is this is very reminiscent to that of the bolt and barrel setup on an Uzi from Uzi Gall and the Gordon Ingram Mac 10. So the barrel actually telescopes, or I should say the bolt actually telescopes over the barrel. So if my finger were the barrel and the round is right here at the tip of my barrel, the bolt closes over that and then the firing face is right here where my finger is. So it allows for an overall shorter uh, shorter package given the barrel length that you are using. Very interesting and cool design and very, I think, awesome that they're actually using that technology here on this carbine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reach in here and pull out the recoil spring and buffer assembly here. And then the second portion of the bolt will lift right out the back. And that is field strip. So you can see how the barrel actually travels about half of the length of the receiver. It's able to do that because of the telescoping bolt. Really, really cool. I love seeing that sort of old technology used in modern designs. Uh, but that is the basic field strip of the LC carby. And again, you can go a little bit further, take off the handguard and things like that, but we'll go about this far in this video. Well, that is all the time I have for you today on these. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please let me know by hitting that like button. Please also consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell notification button so you are aware when I am posting new content. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave you off with that. I am Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports in Westfield, Indiana. You are watching Marksman TV and I will see you next time.